This is John Black, Super Chemist. Here to do an easy video how to get. I haven't done this in like 20, 30 years. But I did look on eBay and uh, Amazon and that, and that. I see that it's still happening. Um, the way I used to get my formaldehyde was to buy paraphernaldehyde. A paraphernaldehyde is just a polymer of formaldehyde. It's a solid. And if you want it to be gaseous, you want it to actually be formaldehyde instead of paraphernaldehyde, you just heat it up a little bit. You don't even have to heat it a lot. And it will break the uh, the uh, the polymer bonds and produce formaldehyde gas, which is pure as anything can be. Um, now, how did I get it? I don't, you know, where, where's the best? Because they didn't have Amazon and uh, eBay back in the day, right? On, I looked on Amazon. I'm sure eBay's the same thing, though. Paraphernaldehyde uh, is $56 for a bottle, right? That's one and a half moles, okay, for 56 bucks. A gallon of formalin, which is formaldehyde that's in water, uh, it's usually like 34, 35, 40% uh, formaldehyde. Now that's $30 a gallon, give or take. I've seen some for 25 a gallon. Um, but where I used to, you know, buy this stuff from was stores that's, that that uh, deal with uh, people that uh, do photographs. Now today we have the, you know, the digital photographs. Nobody really develops film. There are people that still do it as a hobby. There's people, that, artists that do it, you know, that uh, take pictures and they develop their own film. They have their own dark room. And in order to do this, you need paraphernaldehyde, okay? Um, do I suggest you buy, especially if you're on eBay or Amazon, do not buy more than one thing. You know, if you get one gallon of, per, of uh, formalin, don't be buying 10 gallons. I guarantee you that you will be investigated if you buy some large, you know, 50 gallons of formalin. Uh, someone's going to, you know, think something's up. Okay, you buy one gallon, they just think you're using it for what it's supposed to be used for. Um, same with a paraphernaldehyde. Buy one bottle. I'll be buying 50 tons of stuff. I guarantee you, you will get investigated if you buy too much. Okay. Um, but if you just buy one bottle, you know, here and there, do a little experiment here and there, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's no big deal. Um, you just go to a place that, uh, you know, a computer site, you can, and uh, if you're near a big city, they probably have a, a, a place you can just walk into where they sell cameras and, you know, dark room supplies and buy it right there from the person, you know what I mean? Uh, otherwise, you'd have to look online and try to find a, a store, you know, like I said, that sells stuff for people that have their own dark room. And buy a bottle of formalin or, formaldehyde, or uh, paraphernaldehyde from them. Um, otherwise, you have to make it. And making it is not fun. This chemical is very nasty. This is the way I draw it. This is the way most people draw it. Um, but it's that simple. You know what I mean? Now, if you want large amounts, I can't. I don't know what to tell you. You have to make the stuff or, you know, start up a fake business and start ordering it that way which I do not suggest because it makes you look like you're a drug you're gonna make drugs um, but you could do it uh, like I said for the home chemist it just wants you know like I bought a couple bottles back in the day uh, just to do some experiments you know what I mean you, then once you do your experiments I mean to have the formaldehyde is I mean it's a nasty chemical you don't really want it sitting around um, but it's that easy, and uh, hopefully this winter I'll, I do have a, a video on how to uh, oxidize methanol and ethanol into the aldehyde using copper oxide as the oxidizer. Uh, will it work? I don't know. Now if you want uh, formaldehyde just to make methylamine, 
Um, there is a way you can make it without using any formaldehyde from uh, nitromethane, which is anyone can get. It's the fuel that they put into radio-controlled uh, planes, radio-controlled little cars uh, that don't use electricity as the fuel. They use actual liquid fuel. Uh, they're using nitromethane and methanol with a little bit of castor oil in there. You can take that, put it under pressure with hydrogen, a little catalyst like rainy nickel or something like that, uh, and some pressure, and you'll make methylamine from it. You don't need any formaldehyde. Um, anyways, this is just, and I'm going to do a video on that. I got my hydrogen bomb. That was my last video showing that. Um, so anyways, that's it. I uh, hope you all have a great day, and always remember, science is great.